Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been a few days back with another replay here. Uh, Stouty York is the blue uh, Aeon Commander. I am the green uh, UEF Commander. Uh, Urus is the Cybran Purple Commander. Uh, Epic Fail as the brown Aeon Commander. Uh, Vipercon as the red uh, Cybran Commander, and Bob Jones as the green uh, Aeon Commander. Quick uh, 3v3 here on um, Tourney Dome. As you can see, I got uh, an extra spot here, and they also got an extra spot here. So, things could go extremely well if you take over a ton of mass early game. So, let's speed this up a little bit, because, of course, a match on Tourney Dome would take a while. I'm starting off with a land factory producing uh, rockhead tanks and uh, an engineer working on energy and research. This other engineer is going to take over some more mass. Let's see what my team's doing. Alright, we got uh, Cybran doing a lot of research. What's uh, my Aeon guy doing? He's going mid. That's a very good choice. Take control of mid early game. Brown is taking mass and has not got a factory going yet, but there's two research stations. Red, uh, let's see what he's doing. Building a energy gen, a lot of energy, and one land factory. Uh, Bob with three research stations. Red, the only one getting units out so far. I've, uh, I'm taking control of the mass up here with my commander. Is Brown doing the same thing? Yes, he is. <clears throat> Let's check on our team again. Urus building a land factory. Delta York building four land factories at middle. Excellent. I've already got some units to mid, as you can see. I've taken control of all that juicy mass already. Way quicker to take it with your uh, ACU than with an engineer. Epic fail trying to build a third research station, but has not got the necessary mass to do so. Vipercon building two research stations. Uh... Bob Jones just standing there with his ACU. You wanna you wanna be using your ACU to its full potential. Oh, but he is taking all this mass. Ooh. Very interesting. <clears throat> Getting some more energy for me. See what uh Burris is doing. Building some energy gens and already a experimental land gantry. Or basically four four and a half minutes into the game, not bad. Very good. Sending in some tanks to scout. What am I doing up here? I am building some more research. Now they all went for, for uh, well no, uh, most of their team went for research openers, which is interesting. There's no air, this is like a pure land battle, so research is going to count. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on said research battle. <coughs> Excellent job from, uh, who is Blue again? I forgot what their name was. I apologize. Ah, oh, that's it. Delta York with a lot of land factories. We've got more units than them. They've not got... Brown, say brown, green, I've not got any units. Red is single-handedly holding off our land forces. Obviously not for long, because if you look at how many land factories we got going, um, they're going to be at a huge disadvantage. Uh, what's green doing over here? Building some long-range point defenses. Very good idea. He's seen what's coming. I'm going to speed this up again. I'm <laughs> building a lot of research. 
Blue doing an amazing job of destroying their mass. That's going to slow them down exponentially. Wow, Bob Jones with a lot of research. Sheesh. Ah, I see what he's doing. He's going for the Aftershock upgrade on the energy generators. I think it was called Aftershock. I haven't, I haven't played Aeon in, like, m months. I don't play Aeon anymore. UEF is my main and shall always be my main. Love UEF. Uh, what we got here? A epic fail building an experimental assault block. Already an, an experimental. I didn't even notice it during our game. That's how much impact it made. <laughs> no offense. It didn't, it didn't do anything. <clears throat> what am I doing over here? Building tons of energy. I am now probably leading in the research area. Nope. Uh, it's most likely Bob Jones. Uh, Down to York sending in tons of land forces with me backing him up. Oh, here I go. I've researched uh, fat boys. So I'm building two experimental land gantries. <coughs> Ten minutes into the game. Not my fastest time getting experimentals, but at least I caught up a little bit. Oh, wow. Down to York uh, eviscerated. Uh, no, I meant... Bruh, my brain, I'm, I apologize. Viper Khan destroyed Doughty York's entire land force there by itself. So, a very powerful ACU. Wow, that is a lot of energy generators. I see what's going on here. <laughs> is that like a turtle build? Ooh, that experimental assault block is doing a lot of damage, taking out my little land force there. We're gonna need experimentals to deal with this. That is a lot of long range point defenses. Sheesh. Of course, they have a uh, pretty good range. I forgot what their range is, but I think it's like a, a big circle. Fat boys on the way out from me. I am the first player on my team to get experimentals out. I uh, don't know what Urus is doing. Oh, there we go. Urus getting out a megalith. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's going to be a megalith. I mean, why would you not go megaliths as Cybran? It's what every Cybran does. <laughs> Hmm, very good, uh, very good setup from, um, uh, Bob Jones. Not bad. Trying to be cheeky with some artillery here. Oh, uh, they're going to get absolutely destroyed. I don't know what I was doing there. That was stupid. My artillery's not in range. Whoa, what's going on over here? Oh, 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 Jesus. Look at that. Jeez. The Aeon defense is nuts. Oh, a lot of experimentals going on over here. But, I am catching up, as you can tell. Hopefully tell. I mean, if you don't know any, have any idea how this game works, then I apologize. But, by now, <laughs> I hope you get it. Oh, look at that fat boy shooting at those shields. Is that reflecting? It's bouncing off. I'd never noticed that. That's not going to do any damage. I should really be moving my units, but the, the shields ain't doing anything. Building some more land factories. <coughs> oh. Universal Colossus coming from Epic Fail that is a very good choice. Oh, look at this. Oh, those assault blocks are better than I thought. They got some good range on them. Oh, they destroyed my poor fat boy. How dare you? He was just a fat boy trying to make his way through life. Vipercon building. Oh, a lot of experimental gantries. Whoa. Jesus. And a. Um. Okay, yeah, I think I think um, Bob Jones wasn't paying attention there to uh, what uh, Red is wanting to build. God, that is a lot of Colossuses coming out. But oh, now I'm leading in the experimental area. See what's going on back at my base. My land factories pause because I'm saving mass and travel time by having my factories here. 
Let's see what blue's doing. Blue, oh my god, having a lot of land factories. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, wait up, did I just miscount? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 land factories, holy moly. Okay, well, fair enough. What's my team doing over here? Urus, um, gotta be building some more research or something. Uh, he's building, why would you build a magnet lair? You, you could come build it in mid. Oh, there goes my uh, fat boys. I decided to send them in. Hopefully, get past those annoying Aeon shields. Let's see how they do. What the? Oh wow! And they just tear the apart that uh, that defense. But Green has set up a very good defensive line with energy generators, which is very smart. Oh, a loyalty gun. That's going to cause some problems. Let's see what's going on on this side. Oh. That is a lot of, um, if, if, uh, Brown sent in his experimental sooner, I think he might have been able to, to kick my ass, but I am already catching up by building more land gantries, building some more experimentals. Blue are doing a fantastic job of having tons of small little units. Oh, loyalty gun's about to be finished, that's going to become a problem. Luckily it can't, oh, yes it can, it can reach all the way over here. Oh, teleportation. Brown, still building some more experimental gantries. See what purple's doing. Purple, finally building another experimental gantry. Going on at my base again. Uh, energy. I think I'm going for mass uh, conversion to help supply my experimentals. I have completely took over middle. I apologize for, to my team if it seemed greedy, but I was leading in, you know, building experimentals, so I needed that mass. You should c manually click your loyalty gun and target the, uh, the fat boys. Because having them convert the smaller units is a waste of time. Oh, my fat boy's ripping apart their base. I targeted the loyalty gun, especially, because I noticed he was trying to trying to steal my stuff. Oh, backup with Megalith from Purple. Thank you. Fat boy is one of my favorite units. It's so awesome. I miss. I miss when the experimentals were like really massive, like in Supreme Commander 1. <laughs> I won't lie, I, I preferred them when they were like absolutely humongous, but you know. It's just how it goes. The Megaliths tearing apart the defense, they can't do it. Oh, they've ran away to, <laughs> to this area, that's interesting. It's an interesting strat. Oh, Brown finally sending out his um, Universal Colossus. I noticed they were coming, so I built some jackhammers, which is an experimental unpacking cannon. Amazing uh, experimental unit, one of my favorites as well. Let's see what's going on over here. My fat boys tearing apart their base. Megaliths also tearing apart their base. That's those two players out of the picture. He is retreating his Universal Colossus. Curious. Why did he retreat? because I have more experimental units. I noticed his retreat and I'm sending my packing cannon to do some packing. Hmm. Very interesting what they're doing over here. A lot of research. Why? Interesting. I'm gonna try to do something. Uh, retreat your megaliths, bruh. <laughs> your megaliths, <laughs> you turned against me. How long does that take? Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty alright, I guess. We'll see purple notices a bit later. Ah, there we go, you finally noticed. And I noticed, so sent my fat boy to do some, uh, do some damage. Brown pausing all his, his experimental production. Oh, 
poor, poor Bob Jones getting, getting destroyed. Oh, very good move from Blue. That is Bob Jones out of the picture. Hypercon retreating. Very good uh, jump jet there. That was exceptional. And another experimental gantry going up from me. Going on back at my base. Oh, there we go. There's the duty mass. At this point, I had... Uh, practical infinite energy. I just had plus nine 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 because of how much energy generators I built. So a lot of la oh wow, holy moly, blue ex <laughs> building a lot of land factories. I've got quite a lot of units as well, mostly experimentals, because that that was one of the only ways to deal with Brown's amazing uh, play, building a lot of uh, experimentals, holding us off. So, uh, what's Red doing? Where's Red? Oh, there he is. I see what he's doing. Very clever. I appreciate not giving up. Someone who not uh, never gives up has my respect. So, uh, good on you, Red. What I would do, run away, try rebuild. Even if it's a near impossible situation. Wow, tearing apart on units. Unpacking cannons, here we go. Oh, they're gonna start destroying everything. I, I unpacked them a little bit too close. This one's not unpacked either. I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. That boy shooting, they got a lot of health. Oh, here comes my reinforcements. A lot of fat boys, wow. I'm building a ridiculous amount of fat boys. My tanks and artillery marching straight through them. See what uh, Purple's doing back here. Building some more Megatrons in his base for some reason. Hey, like, I'm not trying to, you know, but like, why? You don't need them there. You can come build them at middle. <laughs> But, uh, each player to their own, I guess. Just in case. Actually, it's not an awful idea, just in case any units, you know, get past. But, at this point, they've already lost. What's, uh, what's Red doing? Building a lot of research again, for some reason. He's trying to make his ACU extremely powerful. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, Blue doing a teleport. That's great. Taking out in an experimental gantry. Brown cannot do anything to stop my experimentals. Oh, space temple. That's gone. Amazing job from Blue. Picking out his experimental gantries at the back of his base. Good defense, good defense. Unpacking cannon. Doing some damage. See what's going on over here. Purple still building a lot of Megatrons and not using his experimentals. Um. Blue, st oh my god, Blue. <clears throat> I am now taking over the mass in this area. Because I thought, why not? Why not supply my armies even more? Oh, the beautiful experimental assault bot, King Cryptor. Look at that design, that's fantastic. It's so awesome, look at those cannons. Let's have a, have a quick look at them. Beautiful. Let's get back over here and see what's going on. Red and Brown retreating to the edge of the map, unable to do a thing to stop us. A loyalty gun, that's going to let us know where you are. Uh, I guess you've got no other choice. Sending all of my experimentals. 
this point, I thought, why not send my ACU in uh, uh, at some point when they were trying to kind of retreat. Oh, another loyalty gun. Oh, epic fail has been destroyed. Oh, very good reaction from ViperCon. Amazing reaction. You would have been completely destroyed had you not done that. Very good. I'm going to speed this up again because at this point uh, they have completely lost the game. There's nothing they can do. <clears throat> but good on you, ViperCon, for not giving up and still trying. Vipercon still running away. How far is that jump jet distance? Jesus. I send in my ACU. Just, just go, Royal Rumble. Oh, and my fat boys are backing him up. That's Vipercon down. Good games to everybody here. That was an amazing game, very enjoyable. I hope everybody else uh, liked this uh, replay as well. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.